The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother in his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretched out his hands toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last night, it dawned on me the time when I had my Thanksgiving Mass after my ordination and visited my former principal in elementary. I cannot forget it because as she, as she welcomed me, she embraced me and then she was crying. She was crying, sobbing, and uh, I do not know why. Either she was so happy seeing me a priest, or something made her look back and perhaps made her cry. So I took the courage, I remember, I took the courage and asked, Ma'am, ba't naman kayo umiiyak ng ganyan? Ako ba'y talagang masamang masamang estudyante noon? Ano pa? And the good principal said, Ay oo, David, ay oo. Ano pa? Sabi, Siguro ang sama akong estudyante. Ano pa? Anyway, before I went to bed, a former classmate sent me a message and said, San po kayo graduate? Kailang kayo graduate? and this and that. So I answered the question. His name sounds familiar, but I don't recall. Ano pa? And I answered, I went to bed. I wake up this morning and said, classmate tayo, classmate. Hindi ko na maalala. Ano pa? At sabi niya, naalala mo yung exam natin? Nasa gitna sa atin, yung isang lalaki, is classmate natin, nangungopya sa atin, galit na galit ka. Galit na galit ka. Sabi ko na ko, kindly refresh my memories. Ano pa? At dahil doon, I, be I begin to recall things I tried to erase from my past. Mga gusto mong limutin. Ano pa? Gusto mong limutin. There were times, or there was a time, I burned all my old pictures I burn all my old pictures. Ano po? Yung mga picture ko nung college. <coughs> ano po? Long hair ako nun. Ay, long hair. Ha? Long hair. Ano po? Ha? Kinagagalit ng tatay ko. Ano? Naalala ko yung mga kalukuhan ko nung college. Ano po? Nagpakulot ako. Long hair. Kung ano-ano. Ano po? Galit na galit ang tatay ko. Anyway. But my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, perhaps you have also your past that you tried to erase. But the saying goes, no guilt, no guilt can erase your past. No guilt perhaps can correct what is wrong in the past. And no anxiety can change your future. No guilt 
can erase your past, no guilt can correct it, and no anxiety can change your future. And that is true. That is true. Your memory will continue to haunt you. And look at the readings of today. Look at the readings of today. I brought it into prayers and I thank God for shepherding me. Shepherding me. And we take things for granted. We take things for granted, especially the people who took the burden of shepherding us. People who dream seeing what is good in us. That we don't even see the good in ourselves. Kaya nga, today it's good to look back and perhaps bring them to prayer and thank the Lord for them. Thank the Lord for them. The responsorial psalm would even tell us, buti na lang, napakamahabagi ng Diyos. And what is the challenge of the gospel? What is the challenge of the gospel? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, again, no guilt, no anxiety. No guilt, no anxiety can make you among the mother, the brother, the sister of Jesus. No affinity assures you of your salvation. No affinity assures you of your salvation. It is not the sitting inside the church. It is not the prayers. It is what we do that makes us who we are. It is what we do. Tapos na yung kahapon. Hindi na yun magbabalik. Ang bukas, hindi pa dumadating. May kapangyarihan, kapang bagbuhin ang iyong bukas. By what you do today. What you do today. Kaya nga po, ito magandang paalala. Ano po? Ito magandang paalala. Well, kung ano man ang kahapon, tanggapin mo na. Because God meet us today where we are today, not where we have been. God meets us where we are today and not where we have been. Don't waste the opportunity. Don't waste the opportunity. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, sabi ko nga, if you always say, my conscience is clear, then perhaps you have failed to understand how evil you have been. How evil you have been. Because no one among us can really say our conscience are clear. God knows. God knows. And the grace that God is offering us today is who we are today and what we can become. Who we are today and what we can become. Go beyond the guilt. <clears throat> Go beyond the anxiety. Go beyond the many feelings, many, many feelings you have, either good or bad. The challenge is to do what is right and avoid evil. You want to be a disciple of God? You want to be close to God? Then know His words and put it into practice. Know His words and put it into practice. Sometimes, Someone has to tell you, 
you have, you have to wipe your tears. Punasan mo na yung luha mo. Tapos na ang kahapon. And begin again a new day. Not because of who you are, but because of how much God care for you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, no amount of apologies will merit forgiveness if you continue doing the wrongs you have been doing. No amount of apologies will merit forgiveness if you continue doing the wrong you have been doing. Paano ko ba naman patatawarin yung mister ko, Father? Araw-araw na lang akong minumura. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun eh. Sapagkat ang paghingi ng tawad ay humihingi rin ng pagbabago. Gusto mong mahalin ka ng misis mo, pero hindi mo naman tinatalikuran ang pambababae. Gusto ng misis na siya ay mahalin ni mister, pero si misis naman hindi rin tumitigil sa pagbubunga nga. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, no amount of guilt can erase the past. You have to accept it. And perhaps the big question is, what are you going to do about it? And no anxiety can change the future if you will not change your attitude. That's the challenge of today. God never fails to shepherd you. God loves you. And perhaps the relationship that God is inviting us all is not about affinity, but all about listening to Him and doing His will. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.